What's going on guys, welcome to a Madden 25 video, as always, ask you to take a moment, hit the like button for me, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, your criticism in the comment section, and as always, follow me on Twitter, my username is ShutdownSafety, going to kind of do a Super Bowl rematch here, run you through a quarter with Madden 25, uh, down here at EA, been down here for a few days now, I have a lot of good people that I met down here, interacted with, and really everyone's taking the mindset of improving this game, uh, out on Twitter, Asked your suggestions and feedback, and I have personally passed them along in my criticisms of the game, and hopefully together we'll see an improvement across the board of this product. So take a look here at the new intros. Pretty flashy, kind of like the logos coming together. Nice effect. And then we're going to see the stadiums kind of come in the way we've seen the past few years here once we get past the title screen. So like I said, Super Bowl rematch. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully that's what you want to see beautiful stadium here that I've been to many times. Uh, seems pretty accurately replicated by the traffic patterns leaving the highway and here we see the introductions. As we've seen the past few seasons, four or five key players involved kind of getting pumped up and ready for the game. So we have a little Harbaugh Bowl going on here. One of my favorite quarterbacks growing up. Captain Comeback Jim Harbaugh there on the sidelines and here comes Phil Sims and Jim Nance to let us know what's going to be the keys of the game today. Obviously, you know two of the premier defenses in the league in terms of uh, AFC and NFC. Colin Kaepernick going over to the sidelines, getting ready to talk to Vernon Davis about how to catch touchdowns all day long. Pretty impressed with this game so far. You know, obviously I've learned a lot while I've been down here. I uh, want to kind of address that because I know people are going to wonder, where's my channel going to go? Where's the direction going to head from now? And to be honest with you, you know, I've got a different perspective on the game. And I can't be ignorant uh, to certain things anymore. You know, a lot of the things that I used to bring up and talk about, I now see the, the reasoning behind them. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to accept them. It, it doesn't mean that I'm willing to overlook them. But I can't continue to look at them the same way now that I understand what actually revolves around them. So as I've said to many people many different ways, you know, I plan to continue to critique football the same way I did long before I got here long before I had a, a camera set up, and whether that means critiquing the good and the bad, a good play, a bad play in Madden 25, whether it's next gen or not, uh, all pro football, 2K8, NFL 2K5, that's what I'm going to continue to do. I mean, certainly we're not going to ever see a complete package of a video game that's going to satisfy everyone's needs and desires, but you know, I think it's important we take the best from every game, including, you know, Backbreaker, maybe some other games you guys don't even know about, and use those as inspiration in terms of what we want to see in a total package. So you saw a kick return there by Jacoby Jones. I apologize if there's any background noise, but like I said, quite a few people out here, and certainly that's going to be one of the things that we'll have to deal with as uh, Joe Flacco brings the offense out to the line of scrimmage. Got a two-wide receiver set. And we'll see what he does. Looks like there's going to be a blitz that got picked up. Ray Rice runs to the outside for the loss of two. Ray Rice entering his uh, probably a third or fourth year here in the NFL. Uh, I mean, I really miss his rookie year where you could say Ray Rice, rookie running back from Rutgers. That was a special thing. Uh, got to go to Rutgers a few times. Never saw Mr. Rice play, but uh, being from where I'm from, he is... Uh, I don't want to say a legend in the area yet because this game isn't established to that point, but he certainly is a player I like to see succeed and do well. Uh, looks like we've got Flacco dropping back for a pass. Another corner blitz. Uh, Torrey Smith gets a pass deflected there on the sidelines. See if we can catch a replay of that, but looks like we're going to go through the defensive line here. You can see Justin Smith, one of the premier defensive ends the past few years, and of course Navarro Bowman. Patrick Willis and a kind of retooled 49ers secondary, but certainly when you think of elite players in the league, you think about guys like Patrick Willis, you think about guys like Justin Smith. Looks like a shotgun formation here for Flacco, a edge rush, and he's going to go down for the sack, so pretty good defensive start, what we kind of expect to see out of a defense like this. They brought pressure kind of unconventional ways each time, and result was every single play being close to, if, if not a loss. You see a consecutive hit tackle there. Looks like Alden Smith gets around the corner fairly nicely. Uh, Flacco is able to maintain balance on the first hit, but the uh, larger man is able to, in essence, bring him down. And we'll go ahead and see a punt here and see what we can get on a return. Also be interested to see with these rosters who is going to return this kick for the Niners. 
So you see there, uh, what I noticed is, is a little bit different of a, a kick, not animation, but the way the ball and trajectory moves. Some of them have a tendency to wobble, and sometimes that may seem to be related to the wind. It's a little subtle thing, a little subtle touch, and, and I'm going to go through some of those that you casual gamers, uh, people that played the game last year, might not immediately pick up on, but you know certainly are positive changes in the game as Kaepernick brings his offense on here at about the 45, give it 44-yard line and see what he's able to muster with his offensive production facing uh, a defense that's really trying to relearn its identity. Uh, missing Ray Lewis, missing Ed Reed, two surefire Hall of Famers that led this defense for a very long time. But certainly, you know, the coaching staff and management of the Ravens will continue the tradition of defense that they've continued to maintain despite the removal of, of many good players, you know, and, and the addition of many good players as well. So Terrell Suggs there, get about a three-yard stop. Uh, Kaepernick's going to hand off to Gore again. and More defensive production there, even though it's a two-yard gain, a nice double hit tackle there. You see kind of trucks Williams, but is not quite able to stop the combination of uh, Doomerville and 53, who comes in there a little bit later on. Not too well-versed with the, the Ravens linebacker situation right now is actually very... Uh, very uh, taken back by the fact that they kind of groomed an L. Ellerby to replace Ray Lewis and then were so willing to uh, see his release in the offseason, and, and that's a shame. Uh, I actually got to meet Donnell a few times. Very nice, very nice guy, a very talented linebacker that really seemed like he was going to emerge in a system. And here you see a, a screen that is set up to James, and that is quickly snuffed out by the Ravens' defense. And Kaepernick completes his first pass, but a mediocre gain of one yard. Uh, some of you, of course, are going to notice there the sidelines are not as animated as maybe one would have liked. I do want to stress to you this is a work in progress. This is by no means a representation of the final product you can expect to purchase on store shelves in uh, the better part of 30 to 35 days from now. We see the 49ers come back out for another punt, but uh, again, this, this is a work in progress, so don't take everything you see here, good and bad, as being set in stone. And there you see a little differentiating of the punt, and this thing is going to stop. Is that going to be at the one-yard line? And again, part of the things we talked about, a work in progress. Not sure we're going to see a replay on that, but I think we all know that that's something there, an interaction that could have been cleaned up just a bit. But an interesting point here with 54 seconds to go, we're going to see the Ravens come out on the goal line against a, a blitz-strong defense, and they obviously come out in a goal line formation with a mindset to run the ball. And it looks like they're going to hand to their fullback and gain about six yards. So uh, it gives you a good play-calling scenario. I mean, we got to see a consistency of the defense hold true, and, and then obviously we got to see smart play-calling by the offense. As, you know, they didn't go out for anything crazy like a, a play action or a Hail Mary. So kind of a little idea that there is some of those issues that have been fixed. I'm not saying that I haven't seen them, but obviously in this example we, we see that hold true. Corner's playing a little off right now on a cushion. Uh, looks like we've got his own defense. Flacco stands back. He's going to connect to Torrey Smith initially, but uh, I believe that's Patrick Willis that made that uh, incomplete pass on a pretty good hit there. And now we see the offense regroup. I'm only going to run you guys through the first quarter, so maybe one, possibly two more plays, depending on the selection, considering one of them should be a punt. But uh, we'll see how long this 17 seconds can last. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I will tell you, of course, now I've got a moment. I will be back in the week with more content, and we'll continue to upload Madden 25 content. But I've got some great dual comps coming up. Ed Dixon with the completion at the first down marker. Uh, it was probably at about 13 seconds to go, so that may be the end of time. And you see Bowman there in the background, Justin Smith as well, trying to come in and assist on the tackle. We may get one more offensive play, but I doubt it. So, again, I appreciate you guys taking time to check out this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything you'd like to see more, let me know, and I'll do my best to make that in upcoming videos.